Chapter 20 Magnetism This video is brought to you by Ace with Dennis. Now, learning can be smart, not hard. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell notification button to stop missing out important updates from us. Magnetism Magnetic field is a region where magnetic forces are felt. So if you pour some iron fillings around bar magnets, magnetic field line patterns will be formed. So this picture shows that iron filling pattern formed that indicate magnetic field of two repelling magnets. Magnetic field is felt as repulsion or attraction. A magnet always has two poles, a north pole N and a south pole S. Magnetic effect is the strongest at the poles. Law of Magnetism Light poles repel, unlike poles attract. Therefore, the north pole of a magnet repels the north pole of another magnet but attracts a south pole. Magnets attract magnetic materials but has no effect on non-magnetic magnetic materials. Examples of magnetic materials are steel, iron, nickel, cobalt, and certain ceramics. Examples of non-magnetic materials are glass, wood, and plastic. A magnet cannot repel magnetic materials. It can attract and repel another magnet. Hence, only repulsion can determine if an unknown object is a magnet. Magnetization In a magnetic material, electrons orbiting the nuclei or the atoms have magnetic properties. Each atom acts like a miniature magnet. A group of atoms form a magnetic domain where the magnetic fields of these atoms are aligned and point in the same direction. Magnetization is a process of aligning the magnetic domains in a magnetic material. This diagram shows the magnetic domains of an unmagnetized magnetic material. Magnetic domains of unmagnetized magnetic materials are haphazard. And this diagram shows the magnetic domain for magnetized magnetic material. We can see that magnetic domain of magnetized magnetic material are aligned to point in the same direction. So this will be the south pole and this will be the north pole. Magnetization by stroking. A magnetic material can be magnetized by repeatedly stroking it with a permanent magnet. So let's look at the process of magnetization by stroking with one permanent magnet. This is a steel bar which is a magnetic material and this is a permanent magnet. It strokes this steel bar with this direction. Hence, this end will be a north pole and this end will become a south pole. Now, let's look at the process of magnetization by stroking with two permanent magnets. This is a steel bar which is a magnetic material and these are the permanent magnets. They stroke the steel bar with this direction. Hence, this end of the steel bar will become north pole and this end will become south pole. Magnetization using DC solenoid. A magnetic material can also be magnetized using direct current in a solenoid. Solenoid consists of many turns of insulated wires known as coils. So this is a cardboard roll and we place a steel bar inside the cardboard roll. Then the cardboard roll is surrounded with many uh, many turns of coils and the coil is connected to a DC battery. 
Hence, this is the direction of flow of the current. If you look at this end, we can see the direction of current flow in this way, which is a clockwise direction. Therefore, the pole that is induced at this end is soft pole. If you observe the steel bar at this position, we can see that the direction of current flow is in this way, which is the anti-clockwise direction. Hence, the pole that is induced at this end is a north pole. The poles of the magnetized steel bar can also be determined with right hand grip rule. Now, let's look at this diagram again. Imagine you are holding the steel bar and the four fingers will point to the direction of the current flow. The thumb will point towards the north pole. Hence, this end will be a north pole and this end will be the south pole. Demagnetization. Demagnetization is a process of removing the magnetic properties of a magnet. Three common ways to de magnetize a magnet, heating, physical impact such as hammering or dropping it to the ground, and withdrawing it slowly from a solenoid with alternating current. This is the most effective way of demagnetization. Alternating current continues, continuously changes its direction of flow. The magnet is withdrawn in the east-west direction. So, this is the diagram shows how demagnetization is performed using solenoid with alternating current. So, a permanent magnet is placed inside the coin and it is withdrawn slowly to the east-west direction. Soft magnetic material versus hard magnetic materials. Soft magnetic materials are easily magnetized but do not retain the magnetic properties for a long period. Example is soft iron. Hard magnetic materials are difficult to magnetize but can retain the magnetic properties for a long period. One of the examples of hard magnetic material is steel. When magnetic material is brought near a magnet, it becomes an induced magnet. This process is called induced magnetism. Induced magnet can attract other magnetic materials. So this is a permanent magnet and this is a soft iron bar. This end will be induced with south pole and another end will be induced becomes north pole. So we can place another soft iron bar at this end and this end will be induced and become south pole. This end will become soft north pole. So this soft iron bar will be attracted towards the permanent magnet and this iron bar will be attracted to the first soft iron bar. Magnetic field. Magnetic field is a region where a magnet or a magnetic material experiences a magnetic force. The earth has a weak magnetic field surrounding it. This magnetic field gives a compass needle a magnetic force and hence the needle always points towards the earth's geographical north pole. So this picture shows the magnetic field around the earth. And the needle of a compass always point at the north direction of the earth. Magnetic field is represented by magnetic field lines coming out from the north pole and pointing towards the south pole. 
the needle of a compass always points towards the same direction as the magnetic field lines. The number of magnetic field lines from the North Pole is equal to the number of magnetic field lines terminating at the South Pole. So here is a diagram of a piece of magnet with its magnetic field lines. And we can place some compasses around this uh, magnet. You can observe how the needle needles of the compasses point. They will always point towards the same direction as the magnetic field lines. This diagram shows the magnetic field patterns when unlike poles attract. You can see that the magnetic field lines pointing out from the north pole and pointing in to the south pole. This diagram shows unlike poles repel. This is the X point, which is the neutral point. Magnetic field lines cancel each other at point X. Hence, there is no magnetic field line at this point. If a compass is placed at point X, it will not experience any magnetic force from any of the bar magnets. It will point towards the geographical north pole of the Earth. If a bar magnet is broken into smaller pieces, it will become a smaller magnet. So I'm going to show you the animation how bar magnet can become smaller magnet when it is broken into smaller pieces. So this bar magnet is cut into a few pieces. So it can be separated and these few pieces will be a standalone magnet bars. Magnetic shielding. Some electronic components or devices need to be protected from the influence of external magnetic fields. Soft magnetic materials can be used to divert magnetic field lines through themselves and away from the components or devices. This diagram shows a large thin sheet of iron is placed below a bar magnet. We can see that the magnetic field is diverted through this thin sheet of iron. Hence, the area below this thin sheet of iron is the shielded area, which means in this area, it is protected from the influence of the external magnetic fields. This diagram shows an iron ring is placed between the north pole of one magnetic bar and the south pole of another magnetic bar. We can see that the magnetic field is diverted through this iron ring and the area inside the iron ring is the shielded area. Applications of magnets Temporary magnet can be used to separate magnetic objects from non-magnetic objects. It also can be used in transformers or to lift up heavy objects, which it can be found in cranes. On the other hand, these are a few permanent magnet applications. The first one is magnetic door catch in freezers and refrigerators. Electric motors and electric generators. Permanent magnets can also be found in loudspeakers. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Do you have any question or doubts to ask? Feel free to write it down in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Do you like this video? Please don't forget to like it and share it. Alternatively, 
you can also enroll this full revision course at Udemy. At Udemy, you can track your learning more effectively. Download my notes in printable PDF form. Take a summative quiz at the end of each chapter. Get your first-hand updated contents from me. Get quicker response from me and many more. You can get all these benefits at a very affordable price. It is one-time payment, no recurring fees, no hidden costs. This saves you thousands of dollars on expensive tuition fees and revision crash courses. And most importantly, your precious time. Finally, you can do your revision anytime you like anywhere you prefer. All is available within your fingertips. Check out the description below this video and click on the enrollment link to register the course at discounted price. Alright, until then, see you in the next video. Have a great day ahead.